there everyone Denise here from so limitless and have you ever wanted to bring some of those Pinterest pins into reality well I recently did that with something that I've made so that's what I'm going to share with you today let's get started so today I'm going to talk about this pattern here it's called the Iggy pants it's from Seamwork, and it is a a trend basically of the barrel leg jeans or pants and that is what I made. Now, as you may know, um, I'm not really a person who sews a lot of trends. I don't really do a lot of trendy clothing, that kind of thing. I stick mostly to classically styled patterns and such. But I really wanted to give this a try only because I found there was a lot of controversy and talk about how some people hate them, some people love them, whatever. I just wanted to give it a try but i did want to find a pattern that had very specific design goals and i wanted something with a softer curve so it wouldn't make me look like i was bow-legged and then i wanted something hopefully that would be an easy pattern so this seamwork iggy pattern is actually pretty easy to make i will leave you a link if you are not familiar with Seamwork. They started, uh, I believe, as an online sewing magazine, and they've kind of now grown into a community and such. So I will leave you a link so you can get more information about them. And their patterns are a part of the membership that you, that you have. But this pattern has a softer curve to the leg and that was why i was interested in this it has two large pockets and let's see let me read what it says it has deep pockets in the side panels it's a high waist pant with a front fly two uh two buttons on the front fly and a back elastic waist these are very comfortable to wear and like i said it is an easy pattern to make i used for the first pair that i made i made them from a linen rayon blend that i had here in my stash and those turned out really well i consider them like a wearable muslin there were some changes i wanted to make as far as the sizing i thought the first pair was probably a little bit big so i wanted to size down a little bit I believe the first ones were size 14. I then made another pair, which is a size 12. And I will show you that. I just, that was the only thing. They tell you to use, I believe, a medium weight fabric uh, in order to construct it. But the second pair that I made is, I absolutely, I love them. They look so good. It is a medium weight way really nice blue denim that i bought at joann's and i don't believe there's any stretch in the fabric if there is it's a very minimal stretch like maybe a one percent it's barely i so i don't think there's actual stretch in the fabric but they turned out so well i did size down and i did make a crotch adjustment to shorten that uh, crotch seam about a quarter of an inch so those were the only changes that I made it did it does have the back elastic in it as well which also just makes it extra comfortable and otherwise I really didn't have to make any changes to the pattern at all but they turned out so nice and they are very comfortable to wear and I think with that color I mean, obviously I can definitely wear them into the fall and the winter because they're denim. And it, like I said, it is a medium weight denim. It's actually, I don't really wear jeans in the summer because it's just too hot. They will get a lot of use. So I've got a lot of pictures, obviously, that you'll be seeing throughout the video. These are really, really nice. And like I said, I will leave you information if you're not familiar with the seam work situation, uh, patterns and such, there is also a Vogue pattern that I can show you. This is a new pattern. It's Vogue 2051. This, you can really see the shape of the barrel 
and this is also another high waist high rise barrel leg pants have belt loops back darts front fly zipper hook and bar closure at waist and stitched hem so these have a lot of different seaming options in the back though that's a little different than the ones that i have but it might be something that you want to try i like i said not really doing much trendy stuff but i also this year wanted to challenge myself to make some things that i might not normally make so this was one of those things and i'm glad i did because i really enjoy these and i will get a lot of use out of them so that is my little review of the Iggy pant. It's been out, this pattern has been out for uh, over a year, I think. I've just now realized uh, that it was around. If you have any questions or comments about anything you saw in the video, please leave them down below. Also, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and also hit the notification bell so that you don't miss an upload the next time I upload a new video. But that is it. I thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. Take care, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.